Hello everyone and all the AB candidates out there who are taking chemistry subject. Welcome back to my channel, Study With Me. Today I'm going to talk about chemistry paper 1 times and 1 standard level, May 2021. For some question of the standard level, you will find it the same with the higher level questions. Thus, please find the explanation of those questions on my other videos, and I also will put the links on the description. The question number that are the same with the question on higher level are available on the left side of the screen. Alright, let's start. For question number two, what is the resolving concentration in mole decimeter cube when one centimeter cube of 0 0.5 mole decimeter cube nitric acid solution is diluted to 50 centimeter cube with water? It's a dilution question, therefore we need to use dilution formula as well, which is M1V1 equals to m2v2 okay m stands for molarity or concentration v stands for volume the question is the resulting concentration after being diluted which is m2 so m1 will be 0 0.5 because it's mole decimeter cube as is a unit of concentration and v1 will be 1 centimeter cube, but remember, you cannot use centimeter cube directly. You need to convert it to decimeter cube, which is 1 divided by 1000, so it's 0.001. M2 is the question, and V2 is 50 centimeter cube. If we convert it to be decimeter cube, it will be 0.05, because 50 divided by 1000. So after calculating this, you will find x will be 0 0.0005 divided by 0 0.05, which is 0 0.01. You can just simply time this and then 0.05x and you will get 0.01 for the molarity or concentration after nitric acid is being diluted. Therefore, the answer is B. Next, question number four. What is the coefficient of HCl aqueous when the equation is balanced using the smallest possible holes number? It means you need to balance this equation using the smallest ratio. We can start from Cl. Here, Cl is 2. Here, Cl is 1. Therefore, we need to put it here. And if we check Cu here is 1, Cu here is 1. Therefore, here will be 1. And H2 here, H2. And here, 2H. So, it will be 1 as well. So, the coefficient of HCl will be 2. For question number 9, the Lewis structure of methylamine is shown below what is the molecular geometry around n a is square planar tetrahedral trigonal planar or trigonal pyramidal okay so around n so it has four domain one two three and four one but be careful it has one lone pair Therefore, tetrahedral is not the case here. When it has one lone pair and three bonds, the molecular geometry will be trigonal pyramidal. When it has four domains but it has no lone pair, it's tetrahedral. When it has one lone pair, it's trigonal pyramidal. When it has two lone pairs, it's bent. For example, it's H2O. It has four domains, but two lone pairs. Therefore, the molecular geometry of H2O is bent. Let's go for the question number 12. Along which series is the bond angle increases? When we check from these options, A, B, C, D, we've got an H3, H2, and CH4 only. Let's write the Lewis structure of this three, CH4. H2O 
N and H3. You need to remember the more lone pair, the bone angle is smaller. It means H2O has the smallest bone angle. So it's increasing. It means H2O should start first. And NH3 has one lone pair. It means smaller compared to CH4. The answer is C. Number 13. When sodium carbonate powder is added to ethanoic acid, the beaker becomes cooler. Possible enthalpy diagram are shown. The beaker becomes cooler. It means decreasing in enthalpy. Enthalpy, it's positive. It's endothermic. When you draw this and this, we can see that delta H, it's being decreased. So it's negative, it's exothermic, and this one, delta H, increase, which is positive, so this is endothermic. Which correctly describe the reaction, enthalpy diagram will be number 2, and it's endothermic. Therefore, the answer is C. Question number 23. Which statements are correct for electrolysis? An exothermic reaction occurs, oxidation occurs at the anode. The reaction is non-spontaneous. You need to remember the keyword here, an ox kept red. So for both voltaic cell and also electrolysis cell, anode always oxidation, cathode always reduction. So anode always oxidation is correct. The reaction is non-spontaneous, it's correct as well because electrolysis needs energy from outside. It does not produce energy like voltaic cells, so it's non-spontaneous. For the option one, an exothermic reaction occurs. It means it releases the energy, but it needs the energy. So it means it's not exothermic reaction, but endothermic reaction. Therefore, an exothermic reaction occurs is incorrect. The answer is C. Next, question number 27. Which monomer will produce the polymer shown? It has 2C and 2F for the first C and 1F and 1CL. It has F3 for the first C. It means incorrect, but it has only 2F. It has 3F as well for the first C. It's also incorrect. So it's between C and D. But for D, it has F2. It has no CL. Therefore, the answer is C. Now the question number 30. Determine the index of hydrogen deficiency IHD of paracetamol. Okay, IHD is degree of unsaturation. You need to remember a single bond has IHD 0. Double bond or ring has 1 IHD. And triple bond, it's 2. If we do simple calculation here, IHD, it's 0 0.5 times 2C plus 2 minus HX plus N. Okay? So let's calculate how many C right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So 8C. H for the ring, we have 4H and then also 1H here, 3H here, and H here. So 4H of this ring and 3H1 and one here as well. So we've got 9H and 1N. If we plot into this formula, it will be
therefore the answer will be 5. Alright guys, so we've done with the SL paper. I'm sorry that I cannot explain all the question of the standard level paper because I think that it will be repeatable. You guys can find it on my other videos of higher level paper which I divided to be two parts. Question 1 to 20 and question 21 to 40. Don't, don't be upset, you guys can just click the links below in the description and you can find the explanation of those questions that I didn't explain in this video. And as usual, if you guys find this video is helpful and also prepare for your exam, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. And see ya!